Let your soul and spirit fly into mystic. Let your soul and spirit fly into mystic. Into mystic. Into mystic. Into mystic. Into mystic. Good evening, and welcome back to Mystic Matters. We are the Greater Mystic Chamber of Commerce. Good evening, Patricia <laughs> Connie. Good, good evening, Suzette. <laughs> a little stumble there, but very happy to be back. Yes, we always are happy to hear, be here. See, now I've caught it. I know. Um, you know why? Why? Because we have a guest <gasps> we do. with us this evening that we're so happy to be we here. We haven't seen him in a while. We haven't seen him in a while, and we're going to go right into Dan from the Mystic Seaport <laughs> because he's welcome, got some Dan. great news for us. Yes, he well, does. You, Dan. Well, I do. Well, first of all, we are open. Yes, so, yeah. and that's Yay. the great news. Um, we were closed for six weeks. Yeah. Um, it was a very productive, constructive six weeks for us to be closed. Anyone who comes in will see repairs everywhere, things painted, new roofs. It was great, and a lot of programming and planning. Um, but the best part is closing for six weeks. We had a fantastic reopening, our Winters Away event just a couple weeks ago. Um, we had quadrupled the number of people in that weekend over the year before, and that continued on through the whole week. Um, it was great for revenue, and it was great for people to come and visit. So um, we're open for business again, and it's great to see people down at Mystic and at Mystic Seaport. That's terrific. And while you are open, can you tell um, our viewers what your hours are now, just for the end of for yes. the rest of okay. March? Yes, okay, through the rest of March, we're open Thursday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, and well, what about going beyond that in April? Yeah. Sorry. Going beyond that, seven days a week, 9 to 5. All right, usual, perfect. Usual hours. And perfect. what's exciting, uh, Tricia, is that as a resident coming down Route 27, generally seeing the bodies, before, seeing seeing bodies, the bodies and, and the pedestrians, the, yes, and, and, and the families and the kids, and yeah. how wonderful for the seaport. Yeah. It was great. It's great yeah. to see people yeah. all over the grounds And great again. weather. And it's been, you know, doesn't hurt. It oh, <laughs> doesn't hurt. hurt. We'll, uh, we'll take global warming if that's what it is, <laughs> if that helps people come in. It had the mild winter. It's been great. And it's, again, it's great to see people all around town and yeah. back on museum grounds. Now, what you got here? Well, what I have here is a book for our new exhibit. It's called Treasures from the Collection. The name of the book is America and the Sea. Fantastic. Um, it is a new exhibit opening at the end of the month on March 31st. Um, basically, we've taken about 200 objects from our collections that you don't get to see. They're in storage. Out of our two million, we can't show them all at the same time. Um, but our curators uh, took a look at our objects from an artistic point of view. So obviously, everything we have has some maritime history importance to it. But they sat down and looked at it from an artistic point of view. So this, these are items that have some sort of beauty or creative aspect to them, in addition to being historic. So they picked, like I said, about 200 of the most interesting things that range from ship models to ship's plans to oil paintings to clothing to scrimshaw and just found the most beautiful items um, that you can see. So it's a great show. Uh, it opens at the end of the month. And we're really looking forward to it. Excellent. I would oh, that's not very want exciting. That job. <laughs> Picking those 200 because items. Because I know How the do you seaport just values I mean, there's so much, so much history there, and yeah. I would not want to be that person that yeah. picked all those people. So I can just imagine. They had a lot of fun city. doing it. Yeah. Yeah. They had a lot of fun doing it. It's just, you know, you get to find the item that really spoke to them. And if you ever have a chance, and we do this occasionally to go behind our collections and see what we have, it was a big job, but it was a fun job. Yeah. Okay. So, so that starts when? Uh, March 31st. Okay, good. And, and it then goes? That, that goes through the rest of the year. We right. don't have an end date for that yet. Good. Um, good. But it'll be, and it'll be a great show. And one other show we are opening this spring on April 28th is uh, something new for us. It's a joint exhibit with the Del Vero Academy of Art in Brooklyn. Uh, they brought their artists to Mystic Seaport to uh, take in the Charles W. Morgan. And I that. each artist has done a work or works on, um, on the Morgan. So they're interpreting the Morgan in their own creative, artistic way. Um, they're putting the show together. It'll be in the Stillman Gallery on April 28th. That's very exciting. So this is something completely new and different. This is some amazing I artwork. haven't seen it yet, but people are very yeah. excited about it. I've seen it, some so. of these pieces of art, mm. and they were Gorgeous. they were amazing. Yeah. So really brilliant, great colors, great interpretations. So that'll be great yep. to see. We're looking forward person. to that. And so those are the two brand new things we have going this spring that Good. we're all looking forward Congratulations. to. Congratulations! Thank you. Congratulations, Dan, and so happy to have you back. We are, we and the seaport open for the four days. And we're, so we're thrilled, and things are going great. So we're good. looking forward to a really strong 2012. Thank you. Thank and you. we'll see you in a couple weeks. Absolutely. Okay. 
All right, so I have just a couple yes. quick announcements yes. to share with everybody. Ne tomorrow is our business after hours, and it's going to be at Chelsea Groton Bank in Mystic. Okay. So downtown Mystic, and it's a great opportunity to come on downtown, and then after the business after hours, you can go to one of the fantastic restaurants that we have to well, offer you. What time is the business after 5 hours? 5.30 to 5.30, okay. And then this Thursday is our Groton Business Association meeting, and that's going to be at Wyndham Falls over on Drosdick Drive, and we have two special guest speakers coming, and that will be Mayor Heather Bond from the town of Groton and Mayor Marion Galbraith from the city of Groton right. will come and give a quick five minute update on what's going on in the town and cities of Groton. And for more information on that or other things, you can go to grotonbiz.com or mysticchamber.org. And also one thing that we've just introduced, and you'll be hearing more about it in the coming weeks and months, but we just started a new um, Business of the Month program. And this is where we want you in the community to nominate a local business, a business that you've had an interaction with, that you have made, felt made a positive impact on the community, someone that you think sets themselves apart from other businesses, nominate them. You can find the information on the Chamber website and they'll be recognized throughout the month. So if you want more information, you can see me or go onto our website, mysticchamber.org. Some good things happening yeah. down at the Mystic Chamber of Commerce, and, and, and thank you, Tricia, to you You're and welcome. your staff for doing such a great job. So this evening, we have a guest, and I really shouldn't call her a guest, but she's a guest for this evening, but uh, Kathleen Poole, we welcome you back because yes. oh, you're not really a guest. Third time? Or maybe? I think it's the third or maybe yeah. it's the fourth. It might be third, third or fourth. Time. Welcome. Well, I came alone. Good to have you back. Sometimes I bring somebody back. with me. Yeah. <laughs> good yeah. to, great right. to see you again. Yes, it's good to be here. So welcome back. So why don't you tell us the name of your business and then go right into what you do and the services that you okay. um, you know, provide? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm uh, the owner of Mystic River Acupuncture, and I'm the senior acupuncturist there. And we provide um, Chinese herbal, which we will talk about today mm -hmm. because it's very different than Western. Um, acupuncture, massage, um, I do a variety of other kinds of um, adjunct therapies like cupping. We can talk about these another time. Cupping, moxibustion. Um, uh, I have a What's full pharmacy. Well, give okay. a quick, moxibustion um, is uh, it's an I'm herb. Cupping and this other thing you just well, said. Cupping, yeah. a, lot people, no, yeah. people, a lot of people. Remember the cupping. A lot of people will know about cupping because it's a folk yeah. tradition right. in many cultures. And I think we did that and with Trisha. Oh, right. maybe yeah, we here. did. Yeah, yes, we yeah. did. Yeah. On Mystic right. Matters. Right, you, you put a suction cup on right. the troubled area. Yeah. Right. And, and it, it works tremendously. And I remember it on her back. It's used for respiratory problems. It's used for many things. And I have... Uh, a couple of years ago, we had an expert come and we sponsored him here for a two-day workshop and he, he taught other acupuncturists yeah. too. It was like a, a, a thing we did, Andrea and I, when she was here. And uh, moxibustion is an herb called mugwort, uh, moxa, and you, you can do different things. You can either roll it into a little thread and put it on the skin and, and burn it down and it, it warms up the point. So it's oh. this little tiny thread and it doesn't hurt. It sounds like it would hurt, but it doesn't hurt. And then um, you can also have a big cigar, which I should have brought. And you light the cigar, and you just hold it over the area, and it. it I think just you should have brought like that, Kathleen. up to a wood stove. Yeah. Okay. The only thing okay. is, if I brought that, um, it smells like pot, and you would get oh. in trouble afterwards. <laughs> yes, we would. Yeah. Yes. They wonder yes. what so we were fire. doing here because it would be yeah. all smoky, yeah. and it would right. be. But right. um, in in college towns, they put signs on the door saying, "What you smell is moxibustion. It's an herb." Okay. Because yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, wow. it's interesting. It's an interesting herb, but it has this wonderful warm medicinal heat okay. that penetrates very deeply into the channels of the acupuncture and into the muscles, <coughs> deep into the muscles. And it's I've done it. I do it every day. I did it three or four times today on patients. Um, wow. Cupping I do less often. I do that a few times a week probably. Okay. First of all, before we get into some of your other products and some of your other services mm -hmm. and why we need you. Oh yes. So badly. <laughs> uh, where are you located? I am in um, the city of Groton on Broad Street, right near the roller rink. <coughs> okay. A block from Ortega's, um, down near Paul's TV. Those I, I'm right, but in I'm in the area. residential section. Yeah. I bought an old doctor's office, Dr. Hollister's office. Okay. You know him. All right. Okay. So when Broad you go Street. see her, give her a call for directions and yeah. plug that address into yeah. your GPS. It's um, find her no problem. the corner of North and Broad, basically. Pretty, okay. Pretty All right. So there. pretty easy yeah. and pretty visible. Well, it's, it's not really so visible. Building. It's because it's a house, so okay. you, it's, it's a, an unsuspecting place. But um, once you find it, it's so centrally located to everything. Okay, it's great. really good. Yeah. Okay. It has a little parking lot, and there's on-street parking, and yep. 
plenty of yeah. parking and it's there's a nice waiting area yes. um, and a lot of great services that come yeah. out of there and yeah I've been to Cape really a couple different times for acupuncture I've gone there for cupping in the past so definitely oh you were one of our cuppers after that workshop we had yeah, well, and we went, did a real yeah. good special after we studied with yeah. Bruce, yeah. and we were cupping everybody like crazy. Yeah, it was, <laughs> and it worked wonders. It was amazing. Yeah. So I definitely recommend that. Yeah. <laughs> and I have a website now, since I've seen you, I have a website, Mr. We need to acupuncture com. Tell people that. Um, M R A C H M means Chinese herbal medicine. It, it, but if you just internet search Groton acupuncture, you'll be able to find so it. So it was mysticriveracupuncture.com. .com. Okay. And I have, I made it a very informational website, so you can go there and you can read all about cupping and you can read all about moxibustion. Each one has its own And do some of your section. own research. Right. Okay. And then we have little bios of the people who work there. And okay. So, that's terrific. Yeah. Actually, the massage therapist bios aren't up quite yet, but they will be shortly. Now, what um, sets you apart? One what of the Mystic things, first of all, apart? I have a lot of experience. I, I have... I've been doing this for 24 years now, and I'm the most That's a long time. in the area. Um, and the other thing is, I have a, a full-service Chinese herbal pharmacy. I have. We'll talk about that later today. But lots of herbs, and I I can process them in different ways. And I have, um, gosh, probably four or five hundred. Herbs. So when you talk herbs, you, know, you just brought it out, so we might as well yeah. talk mm -hmm. about it yeah. mm -hmm. for a little mm -hmm. bit. Other things distinguish um, me, but we'll go to that. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> uh, well, okay, what else distinguishes you? And then we'll talk about the, we'll get into the herbs. Oh, oh, I have uh, a really extensive teaching experience teaching um, uh, in acupuncture schools. For 15 years I taught in an acupuncture oh, school, and okay. I supervised a that? student clinic in New York, Tri-State okay. College of Acupuncture. So I have different different levels of experience. I studied in China, I taught in Africa, I, you know, I have... Um, and you've stayed engaged in the practice. Right. I love years. my practice, that yeah. distinguishes right. me too. Yeah. I love right. it. I wake up every morning and I'm happy to go to work. Well, aren't, aren't yeah. things constantly changing in your field too? So you yes. have to keep that, keep up on that too. They are, that's yeah. true, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether it's new products, whether it's new herbs, right, or whether right. there's new, new ways services. Of things together. Right, right. Or applying an ancient medicine in a modern way can be challenging. Yeah. Right. So we have new illnesses too. You know, and that's quite interesting. And you have a new, um, uh, you were telling me recently about an eye thing that you were exper not experimenting with, but dry eyes. Oh, that's right. That's mm -hmm. on my, um, um, I, last February I was in London studying with this teacher I studied with, Dr. Huang, who's a very well-known herbalist in China. And he, we discussed, uh, one day we spent a morning discussing something called Sjogren's syndrome. Oh. Yes, yeah. I'm very and familiar with so I'm reasons. very yep. um, interested in trying out these n these new old things <laughs> mm -hmm. that I learned. New for I, us. Yeah, I have a really old. good deal for anybody who has Sjogren's syndrome right now. Um, well, explain Sjogren's syndrome because yeah. not a lot of people it's a, it's understand. Disease, it's not a, well. It's a syndrome. It can be autoimmune. It's related to some other things, but basically Sjogren's syndrome. Part of it is very extremely dry eyes dry mm -hmm. nose, dry mouth, like dry mucous membrane kind of things, and there will be a lot of other symptoms that can or may not mm -hmm. go with it, like fatigue, gastric mm -hmm. problems, like things okay. like that. So what I'm offering is um, an evaluation for $50, which is a really good deal, and um, uh, a good discount on the herbs if you're willing to stick with the program for three months. Because okay. Dr. Huang mm -hmm. felt like if I could help somebody, we could help them in three months' time with this. And we're not thinking cure. We're thinking, of course, I always hope there's a cure. But realistically, with any kind of medicine, even Western medicine, I dare say, with these kinds of things, you think of reduced symptoms, better management, mm -hmm. feeling healthier, managing, and getting through your life right. with more mm -hmm. functioning. Right. So more that's, quality that's of life. yeah, adding, exactly adding quality of life. Right. Right. So that anyway, that's the that's the thing right now that um, is the, like the special at Mystic River Acupuncture. Okay. Now, you have this display. This, oh, yes, we need, to, now, we need to look at this display. Okay, um, I have brought in, uh, first of all, let me talk a little bit about herbs. I brought in different packets of herbs put together because one thing that's very special about Chinese herbal medicine is we don't just give an herb for this. There's, we don't give an herb for a headache, and we don't give an herb for a tummy ache or an herb for Sjogren's. Mm -hmm. We have a system of putting herbs together in a certain way. So. It's like when you put a bunch of herbs together in the right way, it becomes one big super herb. Okay. So right. Because so, so they all work together. There's a variety of herbs. Yeah, so this one has 
four herbs in it. But and to this help is with that one, to help with that headache or that one. Right. So this would be a special herb. It's often used for women's types of problems, like menstrually related things. This one. Okay. So this is um. That. What do you do? You just eat it? Do you put it in a tea? How well, do you these these ones this way. This one is specially a modular that you would add to a formula for diabetes if you were having neuropathies in your legs or any other kind of like leg problems. It's like a modular, but it's got four herbs. Wow! So what you do is you'd go home with a little a bigger packet like this would show, be. A, show that in the camera okay. there. Okay. This and, is um, this is a. Um, you hold still and hold. Right. Yeah. There you go. Let me. Um, Turn it over so you can see the herbs a little better in it because I have it labeled there. Here we go. There you go. Very nice. So there are four Very different nice. herbs. Very nice. Yes. And this is a special formula from Dr. Huang that I learned from him. It's not really in books. And what's inside of that? What are those um, different things? Uh, gosh, you asked me. I know the Chinese pinyin, danshen. Oh, you know um, the Chinese names. That's funny. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I remember the English words for them. That's okay. Oh, sure. yeah. One of them is peony, red peony. Oh, okay. Um, and this one is, um, oh, it's called Shurhu, but it's really good for legs. Okay. I can't remember That's the exactly. One. Yeah, yeah. And so, and then. Um, and what do you do with that? How do you ingest it? Well, what you do is it goes into another formula. Okay. So, this one, I remember all the herbs of it, <laughs> the, the English for this, but this is one for um, if you have a cold. You put these in a little pot, mm -hmm. and then you cover them with about that much water, and you just boil them down. And that's your dose of herbs for however many days I say. So I might Would give you, you a that's packet. For a cold? This is for a cold. This would be about four days worth of herbs. Okay. So you would whatever amount of liquid you got out of that, like if you got four <coughs> cups, I'm it would a be a half a cup a day. Because I might need to get that from you. I after can just we leave yeah. here. give you this, and you can go home with it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Starting of a cold. Oh, there you go. Some of them taste good. This works. one's very tasty. It has. A benefit. I mean, okay. they all are right. all so tasty. Yeah. You're lucky that yeah. you're right, 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 right. <laughs> this right. has peony in it, cinnamon. It's got so red dates. Cinnamon, there you go. Which you have like, so you would take this um, twice a day. So okay. like if you've got two cups, that's a half a cup a day. So a quarter cup in the morning, a quarter cup at night. And I put the directions on there. Right on this it, is, yeah. right. This has directions. You can that's see good. it says seven cups of water, you know, and it mm -hmm. tells you how to make them. And I give people my cell phone in case they get home and can't understand the directions, mm -hmm. they can call me and I'll tell them what to do. Full service. <laughs> that full distinguishes service us. Miracle. We are full oh, service. Oh, absolutely, yes. And so you've experienced our full service, I too. Have. So, yes. I have. So, and what else, what other, now, you, if you just can't stand the thought of um, taking them this way, okay, I have mm -hmm. colds, I have the leg thing here. There's all kinds. Um, this is like a immune system one for, it's called Jade Windscreen. If mm, you go to I my like website, website. Mm -hmm. I have a newsletter too. You can click it on and go to the newsletter. I have an article about um, how you should always wear a scarf because oh. when wind enters the body, we call it a wind cold, not catching a cold. You catch a wind cold. The wind comes in and hits your neck and it brings in whatever the pathogen is. And so this is like a protection against the wind cold. Okay. So it'll help you from catching And usually you wear a scarf. Or you, you try it. Yeah. Or, or, or you put your turtleneck up yeah. or whatever. I have my hair. So yeah, it's yeah. Scarf. Your hair? Yeah. No, it's not, it's not, it's not an old lifestyle. Yeah. No, it does. Oh, the hair counts. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Hair counts. Yeah, yeah, and just keep that covered. So this is the herbal version of keeping okay. that. Okay. And we have, oh, there's another one that's very nice I have in here. I brought all kinds of herbs. Kathleen's this bag of tricks. Here. Yes, I love it. Oh, no, don't tell me. Did I not bring it? Well, what's it for? Oh, it's just this really, really lovely tea. It's, um... Very pretty rose hips. And ah, what here do we you go. Use rose hips for that this is, is pretty. This is a food herb. This is just any time you want like a nice potpourri. cup of tea. Yeah. It, it looks, looks like, like potpourri. potpourri, doesn't it? It has albizia. F I do remember the English for these. Um, Huhuan hua is albizia flowers, and megui hua is Chinese rose. And you just make a cup of tea. Put a teaspoon of this in. Make a cup of tea and some lemon and mint, and it's just this lovely like if you were trying to reduce your caffeine or you just like herbal tea. Oh. So this isn't necessarily medicinal. This is just a nice cup of tea. Now, in a different quantity, I would add it as a medicinal herb. So some of our herbs are good for food and some of them right, are good right. for medicine, depending okay. on how you use them. That's fantastic. So, and I mean, um, I often just give these out to people who seem like they want a nice calming tea. So. Calming tea? I might. <laughs> no, as Kathleen said, Goody's you could take <laughs> this one home. <laughs> and I have another. Okay, and then if you don't want to 
do the big boiling up thing. Which now, okay. most of these are teas that you would yes. drink them. Yes, anything like drink that's them. in a bag like this is a tea that you're going to drink. And you wouldn't actually take the full, like what's left, like after you've made the tea, you would You throw the herbs the away, okay. and, and, and you just drink the tea. You don't keep the herbs. Do you have any herbs that you actually ingest? Yes. Do you have anything like that? Is if that you can't bear the thought of boiling your tea and drinking mm -hmm. it in case it doesn't taste good, we have little pills. Mm -hmm. And when you get a little pill like this, this is um, <clears throat> that's a nice one for sleeping and calming down. Um, that, oh, here, no. This is a little... This, I don't so have that formula, but I could make this in a bag and give it to you, or I can give it to you in pill form, which isn't as strong. So a lot of times what I do is start people on so the teas. So the tees. pill form is not as strong. Right, but it's mm -hmm. handy to put in your purse, in yeah. your travel bag, you know, in your laptop case or whatever. Yep. So sometimes I'll start people on the really strong teas. Right. And then when they get better and they need maintenance, they just take some pills, or if they're going on a trip. Okay. Now, another way to take these is in, um, this is the second... This is like maintenance. This is the second best way if you don't want to boil it up. They, they come in granules. So they're just, I a mean, I can pour a little bit out so here. You, you can see it. And you, you, you sprinkle this in yogurt. You can put it oh, in, okay. make a tea out of it. Just put it in hot water and dissolve it. And this and is, is the right same yeah. as one of these bags that I have out here. It's the okay. same exact formula. But not as potent. Well, this is second best, so it's pretty okay. good. Okay. All right. These aren't as potent, but... um. You don't always need potency. You know, okay. sometimes right, right. you just need a little bit to little keep something. you going. And this is something to help you sleep or help you calm down. And these or tend to be more over-the-counter and generic, so obviously I couldn't add herbs to this for you. Right, you right, know, right. These are, <coughs> excuse me, more for symptoms and um, things like that. Do you deal with nutrients, like if someone has a deficiency? You know, you I get refer into that to a naturopath for okay. that usually, or a nutritionist, because I like to spend my time studying these. Okay. But one thing that's really interesting about the herbal of Chinese is it, it's a very different theory than Western herbs. And it's as if I talked about it being like one big super herb, a formula. It's as if the formula has two parts. So it has, like with the Sjogren's, when people come to me for that, they're not all going to get the same formula. So they're going to get the modular for the Sjogren's, but then they're going to get a second part of the formula for why does this person have this problem? So if both of you had a headache, maybe four or five of the herbs in your formula would be the same, but the other four or five would be very different because your bodies are different, the reason you have a headache is different, the situation in which you have it is different. So you'd get a formula very tailored to your situation. So that's... What's really nice, if you like going home with the tea, I can make right. the, yeah. Right, right, right. Or the granules. So this is a formula, but I also have lots of single herbs I can add to the granules. I can't add and take away from the pills. Right. Okay. So. Okay. Now, it sounds very complicated. So how do you keep it all straight? It's very complicated. <laughs> I studied for three years to get my diploma, my degree, and then I studied for two more after that. And then I went to China, like I'm always studying. Now I go and I study with Dr. Huang regularly every year for a couple of weeks and it, it's, it is complicated and it's, um, you have to know what you're doing with herbs, more so than with acupuncture, I feel. Now let me ask you something. So you have all these herbs, mm -hmm. okay. Where do you get them from? I have That's somebody who I, really I mean, I'm looking at no, them and no, I'm like, okay. It's a good question. <laughs> it's, uh, because okay. there's a lot, there's a lot of, uh, about things coming out of China and I right. get mine from there but right. I get them from somebody who tests them and I personally know this man I've studied with him so I, I trust my source okay. I don't just well that's very that's anywhere. very important that's for, a, for yeah. the viewers really to understand yeah. that as we're we're yeah. looking at these herbs and, and and Kathleen is saying look this is very complicated so the need to go to a specialist is very important don't try this at home right. don't mm -hmm. try to buy it right you know buy it from a person that knows what's And there's going a on. section on my website that tells you how to find a person who knows what they're doing right. with herbs right. too. Like right. you is don't there have a kind of a certification? Do you have yes. to be certified? Yes, it's called nccaom.org. Okay. Very important. So you want to, and it's, if you go to my website, it tells you how to so find that place. Okay. Right. But you should have passed that exam. And her website for Mr. Grover Acupuncture is mrgroveracupuncture.com. Right. Now, Kathleen, you brought. Oh, this <laughs> I is didn't know cool. that was an this instrument is just you wanted fun. us to play. No, this is an old fashioned scale okay. to measure out the herbs. And I use this in my office, but most of the time I use a digital gram scale. Uh -huh. okay. But this is how they used to measure them in the old days. <coughs> so there's three different measurements here. Oh, and you would very set. Interesting. So this would be like if you want to use 
Okay, I'm going to use. This is in Qian and Lian and mm -hmm. Liang, but mm -hmm. I'm going to use terms grams. like your grams. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, if you put it on the little dots, you're measuring grams, this little thing, this mm -hmm. little weight. You put it on the, if you put it on the larger one, you'd be measuring like a power of 10 more, and like the larger one would be kilos. Right. Like, okay. So right. you could do ounces, pounds, you know, whatever. So I use the middle one, no, the little one, because it's grams, and you set the little thing there. Oh, you got it on the camera there. That's oh, and very if you're using one, you use, like if you're using the, the, the lowest measurement, use this one. So you pick whichever oh, little so red. You right. you hold, so you hold it by this. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So I'm going to hold it by this. And then you add the herbs here until it, until it you can see this little needle has to be just like that. And then you know you have the right amount and you just dump them into the little bag. Cool. So I use this often because I think it's fun, but if I have a lot of formulas to make, it's time consuming. <laughs> right, right. But that's <laughs> And yes, I, very I measure neat. this in the Chinese, yeah. um, the, the qian. Yeah, so I have to nice. translate it to grams when I'm doing it. And well, it's nice when you're using that, you're sticking to the roots of I of feel like the I medicine, am. Like I feel like countless know? people throughout yeah. the ages have used this type yeah. of balance, and so I'm connecting it's with nice them. It's nice to honor that right. and yeah. honor that history. Right. But when I have like 10 formulas to make, I go to the digital yeah. scale. <laughs> <laughs> a nice so, balance. Yeah. But I just thought that's kind of a fun thing to see how it's how it was done. <clears throat> well, Kathleen, I'll tell you, every time you come on the show, we I learn this something is a, this new. Is, oh, we could talk yeah. for hours. Well, this yeah. is very interesting, I have to tell oh, you. It's just very interesting. It's and I and I can see um, just through you the passion that you have for oh, your you. <laughs> your work and um, it sounds exciting. Oh, and, it and is. It's so exciting. I mean, I have to be still excited by what I do after all these years. And when I got hit my twentieth mark of acupuncture, I didn't know whether to be embarrassed or proud. Like I've yeah. been doing the same yeah. thing for twenty years. Yeah. That's <laughs> fantastic. Definitely <laughs> proud. Definitely something yeah. to be proud yeah. of. Well, then Anne Marie said, "You haven't <clears throat> been doing the same thing for twenty years," and I thought about it, and like yeah. it's so evolving. Well, well it is. Yeah, you you've grown and learned, yeah. and and you, it's, it's something that you've been able to give back to our community with what you with what you I practice. I love being a yeah. small town acupuncturist. I really yeah. do. I mean, I could be in some big city. I just love being in Groton. Yeah. Well, we love you being here. Yeah. <laughs> so we only have a few minutes left, and I, th I think for the viewers, what are your hours? Um, you should go to my website more okay. for that specifically, but because they little vary. I try to be there early in the morning some days and late at night others. So I'm there Monday, no, not Mondays anymore, Tuesday through Saturday. Mm -hmm. Most Saturdays, not all, so you have to check the website to make sure, and the Saturday is the community acupuncture clinic that we talked about last right, time, right, right. which is the um, less expensive clinic, thirty-five dollars. Okay, uh, it's not as involved, but you can do a good job. So that's Thursday afternoon and Saturday, and on Tuesday night I work late, and on Tuesday on on uh, Wednesday it's different. On yeah, Wednesday, okay. th like I'm there at eight o'clock in the morning yeah. some days, and I'm I'm there. So it's better to yeah. schedule an appointment. Yo, yeah, uh, for the okay. clinic you can just walk in. But the thing is, if you walk in the community acupuncture and there's four people already scheduled, yeah. you right. have to wait. Yeah. So right. it's better to schedule. Okay. And we have staff even when I'm not there. So if you call, someone will get right back to you. Okay. So just just mention your telephone number. Oh, and yes. your website. Okay. <laughs> the website is mysticriveracupuncture.com, uh, and you can go to grottenacupuncture.com, either one. And the phone number is eight six zero four four eight six seven six six. Excellent. And it's best to contact us through the phone number and not through email for scheduling. Okay, okay. that's great. Yeah. Kathleen Poole, I'm not going to call you a guest anymore. Oh. <laughs> <I feel laughs> like you're like family. Yeah. No, you're, you're, you've done great. And thank it's you great to be here for again. all this thank information. You. We appreciate you being yeah. on the show this evening. Thank and you. Tricia, okay. yes. once again, we've got another show for next week. Yeah. I'll see you next week. Before yes. we end. Happy birthday to Suzette. She why, just, thank you. This is her birthday, birthday month. This is my birthday, birthday month. month. Yes. The month yes. of March. Yeah. So yeah. happy birthday. Thank you so much. <laughs> for the month of March. And for all you viewers, Spring chicken. good evening. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Spirit fly into mystic. Let your soul and spirit fly into mystic into mystic into mystic